I've just been going through and cleaning, pruning, cutting away at things. And this can be seen whether it's in some yard work, you know, cutting back some of the weeds that's have overgrown and some of the shrubs that have overgrown and um, the palm trees that have overgrown and and cutting back some of the the shrubs that in the wintertime you're supposed to cut them back, prune them back so that they will spring forth with new life when the spring comes around. So it's almost a natural occurrence happening right now. And from that, I draw some thoughts today when I'm talking about the idea of um, it's kind of like making room for what's to come. And you can see this in some of the evidence that we have talked about when we've made our list of services several weeks back that things we were looking to eliminate or scale back, especially when we find ourselves not using them in the way that we first set out to use them when we jumped on that ship, whenever that was. Um, and we find the cost going up, and we don't really use it. So those were things too. Well, let's continue one more week. Swing that hammer, chip away a little bit more, and say, I think it's this getting ready for whatever it is that's going to happen this year, this season, this chapter of our lives. I don't know what it is for you. I can hardly tell for myself (laughs) what it is for me. But I kind of sense this, I have a container, like my life is a container. And what I mean by that is I can only hold so much, right? I can only hold so much. No matter how talented I think I am, I can only manage so much. You know, our culture is obsessed with this term of multitasking and, and productivity and high outputs. A lot of that little jargon we can, we can say, but... We can only hold so much, and I know that for myself. And I, and I imagine my life, and I, and I want you to imagine your life too as a container. And when I mean a container, you can only hold so much. And so we have to, I believe, we have to eliminate some things, get rid of some things, scale back some things, prune some things so that we can get ready to hold more, whatever more is, whatever is to come. I, I just see it as that. There's something that's coming. There's something that is on the horizon. This is the faith or the belief you need to have for yourself, especially even if you can't see it. Now you might know some things are in the works. Maybe you're working on some things. You've planted some seeds, so to speak. You've made some investments here and there. You've, you've done some tasks that you know is going to have a return. You may not know when. You know, it, it just might be you sent out some flyers, you worked your network, you let people know, hey, this is what I'm doing. Maybe you got on social media and you advertise your service, your brand, um, or maybe you just worked your network offline. I don't know. But you know something is coming. Well, I want to encourage you to maybe continue to follow the steps that I'm on and, and I've been sharing over the last few weeks of continue to examine and continue to uproot and and move some things out of the way. Make your vessel, um, give some room to your vessel where you can receive what's about to come, right? You want to be able to receive what's about to come. I want to receive what's about to come, and I don't know fully all that's to come. You know, I'm like that farmer, maybe. I've planted my seeds. I've put things out there. I don't know all that's going to happen, and I'm not sure if you know all that's going to happen, but I do know If my hands are full, then I don't have the ability to hold something more, right? If I am clinging on to what I'm clinging on to, whatever that is, you can fill in your own um, spot. If I'm clinging on to stuff, whatever those stuff are, then I'm going to be unable to pick up new stuff when new stuff comes my way. So what new stuff is, is coming your way? Do you know what new stuff is coming your way? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But either way, I want to encourage you to release some stuff and say to yourself, well, hey, what do I want? You know, what do I want more? So right now, without knowing all the facts of what's going to happen, I've been trying to prune some stuff just as I did with some of the simple things out in my life so I can be available for new things. Do you want to be available for new things? I think you do. 
I think you do. I want to be available for new things. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to continue to go through what I'm going through and, sh and clear house just a little bit. So you need to look amongst yourself. You don't need to, but I encourage you to and continue to make some room. Now, as I've gone through and cleaned up, I use a scenario that I've shared with my wife. I said, look, if we were to sell our home, if we were to sell our home, I said, what is the typical closing time? Let's just say, for example, and I think we came up with a number like 30, 45. Let's just say uh, someone bought our home and they want to move in. And we'll just say within 45 days to 60 days. Right. I think that's plenty of time. Would we be able to go through and pack up, obviously, the things we want to bring and decipher some of those older things that we've held on to for whatever sentimental reasons? Would we be able to go through those um, storage units or boxes or whatever it is that we've held on to and, and kind of decipher what we want and what we don't? Right. And yeah, we would be able to. It would be highly stressful, though to be able to commit a lot of time, would probably have to take time off work to work through that level of stuff. Because, you know, moving itself is a stressful thing for people. So now imagine going through your house and making decisions in such a quick way that you can arrive at the goal you're looking for, which is basically, let me take all the stuff that's priority, whatever, and let me leave some of these things behind for whatever, because we just don't use them. So... I know something as good is coming. I know, um, as we would say, increase is coming. I know better is coming um, for for us, for you, for me. You know, the, they say the best is yet to come. Uh, you you know, you can hold that a little bit. There is more coming. There is better coming, right? There's new mercies, so to speak, every day. But you want to get ready for some things. So when opportunity comes, you're able to seize it. That's what I want to do. When opportunity comes... I'm able to seize it. And, and, and all the adjustments that I'm making now, all the cutbacks and scale backs that I'm making now is going to make me more prepared for it. Now, when I find out the news that I'm looking for, I'm still going to have to do some pushing, I believe. I'm still going to have to make some adjustments, but at least I've started the process is if hopefully I can communicate that right. I've started the process already. So now... It's not just, um, it's not just me starting from scratch, so to speak. I used to, I shared this all the time for years. I've worked with young people and I've shared this in my own home that I would tell them it's better to right after high school, if you're able to start working on some college courses. I know you don't have to agree. And I said, well, at least if you're working towards it, whether you're taking one class and you're working you know, if you don't think college is right for you or you're taking two class and you work in whatever, you might be working your way towards at least that first two year degree that associates and you can probably complete that. And then you might decide years later, if that's the case, that, hey, I want to finish and get this bachelor's. Well, if it's years later, if it's 10 years later, you don't have to start from scratch. You don't have to say, well, gee, now I need to go to school for four years to get this bachelor's. No, you're already halfway in. So now you might just need to uh, two year worth of work, which, you know, if you're doing part time, it'll be a longer. But if you're doing full time, it'll be two years. So you get the idea. I've started the pruning, the cleaning um, process, you know, to get ready for what's to come. So when I get the green light, when I get the news, when I get that phone call, that email that says, hey, Carvel. We want you to do X, Y, Z. I don't know what it is. You can put your own name in there. Someone's going to call you up and say, hey, you know, I've been watching you. I've seen what you've put out there in social media. I've seen your email. I got your phone call a while back. Or someone told me about the work you do. I don't know what it is. But something is already in the works. At that moment, you'll be ready to make it is just more like a gear shift, right? It will not be like you're in parked, going in first gear, second gear. You're already moving. You've already started moving. You are already in second gear right now or third gear right now. So when that call, when that notification, when that email, whatever it is coming your way, it's now time. 
you'll just be shifting the fourth or shifting the fifth. You get the idea. You've already started. So this work that we've been doing over the last three or four weeks of evaluating self in our own mind and 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 our you know all the things that we're holding on to and things that are changing and things that we're not using all that kind of stuff we've already been doing the process you've already been doing the process if you were with me little by little you were ticking away right when you were going through your wardrobe whatever it might whatever wherever you ever found the application you were doing it and now we're this much closer we're this much closer so that is what I want you to get to. You're ready to hold on to whatever's going to come. You're ready to seize that opportunity. I don't know. You might have been coaching some people up. You might have been preparing some other people. You might have been reading into it a little bit more, reading your books. Um, you're learning more. I've watched my own children over just this period of time, the, you know, reading a little bit more books or they're, they're selecting different books, uh, for example. That's just an example. And what they're doing is they're getting prepared for something, even if they don't fully understand. That is preparing them for something more that's to come. And when it's come, they'll be prepared to seize the opportunity, right? I'm going to be ready to grab a hold of what's coming because I began to part with things that were just tying me up, things that was making it more cumbersome. Now I'm more nimble. Now I'm ready to move. Now I got more clarity of thought. Now I've freed up more resources, right? Um, for example, now I have a little bit more money to invest in whatever that thing might be because I've just parted over the uh, last couple of weeks with some subscriptions, for example, that I didn't need to renew because it would just happen my resource for nothing. So now I have more availability in general. Right. So as I pruned my yard, as I cut back bushes, as I tossed out the old stuff and 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 parted with things I didn't need, I'm freeing up space. And also, too, it's making me have I'll have more time. That's another thing of resource that I can dedicate to whatever is coming in this new chapter. So let that sink in right now. And if you've been doing the work over the last couple of weeks, Know that you're on the right path, right? Because some of what we do, we must do it by faith. We must kind of have our mind like it's coming and we're working. And even though um, you're going through or if you've gone through this season where it's a little dry, you know, it, the harvest, so to speak, is not there. The contracts might not be there or the, the flow of friendship is not working the way it should or, 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 or maybe a different kind of relationship has been stagnated. I don't know. Maybe you're preparing it up now for what's to come. That's what I believe in right now. And hey, I, I, maybe I'll have a, a return testimony, so to speak, to share with you what's happening. You know, you don't always have to tell people what's happening. And sometimes you don't know what's happening. But you might feel the, the gut instinct to make the moves to get you ready. And sometimes it's that. There is a leading, we call it on the inside, that you feel. It's just leading you to do some things it's not you, you you're not it's not these sporadic crazy moves it's you know it's not it's it's more it's it's calm you're thinking you're processing but you still don't know exactly you're moving in faith you know you're doing some of the things you're doing and it's going to work out really good for you so that i want to leave let that sit on you I let that sit in you and continue even today or whatever time frame you have left because there's still time on the clock. Not on my clock right here, you see, and it's ticked down, but there's time on your clock. And uh, it's not over yet. So this might be the moment you need to spring back. <laughs>